Uh, here's a bit of a throwback. This is actually the first video I uploaded to YouTube was of this engine starting. Just a close up of how massive this thing is. Air start. Quite a setup. Seventy-eight, fifty cubic inches. Idles at two hundred ten RPM. Fairbanks Morris. Pretty darn cool. So I can just come on, link up. Waterloo boy. You can see the size difference in the two. So come on down. We'll put the Massies in front. Since that's one of our featured tractors this uh, during this Heritage Day 2022. So come on down and uh, line up your tractor in the parking. That starts at 10:30. Land handler. Crop 60. Ooh, look at this B. It's lowered B. I like that 62.
what did he do? He turned that upside down. Came up here, cut it. And it's pretty neat. Bunch of tractors here today. Always nice to see a good turnout. Just trying not to get in the people's way with this camera. Got a full bottom plow on the back of you. Little case. 300. Him with a loader. RM. Oh, you. Chalmers, you. We have lots of events starting at 10 o'clock today at Heritage Days 2022. One of them is that uh, Professor Longhair Medicine Man show will be in the gazebo at 10 o'clock. The gazebo is just south of Building 3 and just to the east of Building Number 2. Lighting is not the best Dressing in the world. Bailing, uh, followed by bailing is uh, scheduled for 10 o'clock. As is the kids' metal pole. Registration continues for that in building number two. And then the antique weighted pool begins at 10 o'clock. Pulling competition. Be sure to go get registered at the pulling track. Also, Sorry, there's a lot of start and stopping in this video. I'm just trying to stay out of people's way and um, lots of events feature the ones that kind of interest me. <laughs> I know you guys might be interested in like this 830K set John Deere, but I, I don't know what to feature. I got a lot of ground to cover and uh, sadly not all day. case that's a big one four hundred with single wheel on it here's an odd one for you an M with a shepherd diesel one way you could add power to your M. A three cylinder diesel in it. We'll get to that one in a minute. And that one. No, I lied. We got a long row yet. <laughs> they may get their own little videos. Now here's something I'm into. F-14. We actually have one of these that was my grandpa's, but it's in really rough shape.
Super H. And then you got the big F30 next to an M, which would have been a, uh, what came out after it. Actually, we do have two of these around. F30, got fenders on it. Quite a tractor. M, which is what would have replaced this thing. High speed road gear. This thing will move. WD-15. I've just been reminded that in the middle of the tractor drive downtown, there are free donuts. So get your tractor uh, to the uh, parking lot on the east end of Building 3. Love to have as many tractors as possible in that drive into town. This reminder, in about five minutes, Professor Longhair's Medicine Man show will begin in the gazebo. That is just south of building three and just to the east of building number two here on the ground. MT. The sawmill will begin operation at 10 o'clock, powered by a steam engine. We're gonna go over and get and video of that too. And the antique weighted pull will begin in the pulling track. Another cub, low boy, done up. next to it we have something that's on my want list I'd like to find one of these a Gibson SD or Super D2 or anything along the lines of that or this one I see at the end here units. Wisconsin on them. Oh, comes the tractor. It's just a normal D. A pulley on the front. That's a pretty neat setup. There's your one, 1468. Big V8 in it. Our WD with the loader on it. Sixty six row crop, SC case. bottom plow mounted on her.
actually kind of the color I was wanting to go with for that L, but just didn't quite work out. We went with gray instead. Minneapolis Farm yeah. Motor Threshing Machine Company. It's being powered by a steam engine. Now this thing is big. Right now, just the up there. Once again, if you'd like to participate in the parade of tractors in the Greenville, those tractors are lining up right now. I'm about six, 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 seven, line. and I have to reach up to touch the top of this tire. That's how tall this thing is. all the valves on the two cylinder. I don't know if it's two cylinder or four. Might be a four. Have to look. Two cylinder. That's quite a unit. Here's a cross engine case for well. That's really what you think of when you think cross engine case. There's a little case for scale. That's not a great scale. <laughs> this is a, that is a small tractor. I mean, yeah. But <laughs> also a neat one. It is a cross engine though. Little cross engine. Here's a normal size cross engine when I think of one. put over the radiator to help it warm up when it's cold out 4,000 Ford got a couple videos on 3,000 mowing C Cub Lobo. I always love the look of these. They, the mowers, the original uh, Cub mowers kind of look the same as them. Well, they look quite a bit like them. They were made to sell around the same year. Is this one 70? Okay, it's a little bit newer. WD-45. John Deere H. It's the little one in the family. I mean, there's a B next to it for scale. There's another B. What we do, go styled, unstyled, styled, yeah. Unstyled, you got your flat front radiator cast with the 
at John Deere embossed and then you go styled and you got all your fancy tin work over the hood or the radiator streamlined it I'm a fan of either one. I'm not a huge John Deere guy, but extension. I know I ended up on the wrong side of these. Mary WD D19. I don't think we've seen one of these yet. Four thirty. The Moline. I'm not RTU. I'm not the most versed when it comes to Molines. They all kind of have the same appearance to them as to what the exact model is. Over here, we got a Orchard VAO. There's your unique setup. Keep all the trees and everything off you, keep you from hooking on them and messing them up. If you can read any of that or not, maybe you can pause and read it. I know at least one viewer of the channel is going to know what this is. It's a Bowens. Free tickets are still available for train rides on the American Heritage Railroad. Stop by the Bowens. Take a ride. The lineup continues for the parade of tractors into Greenville. If you'd like to drive your tractor in that parade by lineup. That's an easy way to move these the things around, lot, put them on a skid. <laughs> Here we have a Wallace. Behind it we have a Massey Harris Challenger. These are pretty neat little units. Always loved how they got the Wallace logo just stamped in the side of the block on these things. I always thought that was such a cool touch. A big governor on it. Serial tag on these is generally up here. I believe this is a 1220. Yeah, that's gotta be a 1220. So we actually have one of these in pieces and a 2030 that's together and actually runs. Well, I use runs using air quotes. It's been sitting in the shed for quite a while. If they ever get unburied, we'll do videos on them at some point. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Challenger, I don't think the one we have is exactly like, eh, maybe it is. I haven't seen it. It's been buried in another building for quite a while. There you go, pump jack in action. 